The following program was produced by a PAC TV community producer and does not reflect the views or opinions of the PAC TV staff or the PAC TV board of directors. The content contained herein is the sole responsibility of the community producer. Uh, some opening, and that's some shot I've got over well, here. Well, yeah. guess what? Today's the Pack TV news with wrestling inside it. You see, last time I was all by myself, and Kelly, millions of kids and millions of grown-ups came and helped me. That's the Pack TV news <laughs> for right now. Can I have that sheet of paper for a second? Sure, Dad. Nothing. Michael, you need to change one of those um, reasons what? for watching the show. I just remembered one of the best ones. If someone could run this out to Michael, I don't care what number you put it on, except number one, Michael. Anyway, hello and welcome to, or Kumbamwa, as the case may be, to the wrestling scene live. This is episode number one hundred. Yes, one hundred hours. We will never get back. We're the biggest here. Yeah, we are. Hey. Santa's TV audience. Great, Riki. Can you trade mics with Jason Riki? I probably can. No, you can't. Oh, uh, 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 Same mic. Drama. Same mic. Mike, Mike, Mike. We're going to have to get this Mike, on the, uh, uh, the added uh, Mike, bonus uh, DVD commentary. Well, the little, I've also the lost the clip. Well, I'm talking. We're yeah. the biggest and tallest here. So, um, can I tell you something? Pack TV News. <laughs> Never try this at home because you're not buying anything from this because the Packy oh just wreck you in. They're not going to let you It's know. okay, Dan. It's okay. The, uh, what do you call it? Wrestling stuff. Uh, it's all about Get off my me. Now. Begins to seem that way, Jason. Alrighty. Um, joining me today is... Hey. That's so funny. <laughs> Joining me today, as well as, of course, Mr. Daniel Edward Ginnity. <laughs> hey. Esquire. Thank you. Is none under, other than the Reeky Troop uh, with Jason in finest form. <laughs> wow. There they are. You know, the most unusual thing about this show, folks, oh, wait, you okay. may think <laughs> that it's the number of people <laughs> on the show today. You may think it's the fact we've got a studio audience, but in reality... <laughs> The most amazing thing about this edition it's of the you. scene is yeah. we have camera people. We do. That's, that's just amazing, isn't it? I don't it? even It's like a different show it's entirely. It's amazing for us. You know what it is? It's a show with some kind Everybody of production value. Everybody here is supposed some to kind. be younger than 50 years old. Folks, I'm checking. There is no off switch. There is no off switch. Hey, we I'm haven't sorry. said it. Sorry. Yeah, we're so uh, sorry. Much like our That's other previous so wrestling sorry. scene episodes, we are live yet again here Living October 1st. So please, yep. please, please, you please, please call could you please in. Sit down. Yeah, Can because we don't have enough voices already on the show. Right. We'd like for you and to call in. And if we get in. a caller yeah, or if someone comes up to chair. speak from the audience, wanna, it is important that you guys... No, you got the chair. special chair. Oh, the oh. discussion is over. Yeah. I'll shut off being loud. That is quite a bargaining under, chip. We got that in control. Don't worry about it. Sit in that chair. That's the one you chose. You know what? Dylan no, wanted. Dylan wanted. I don't want. I do not. I do not. Oh, of course not. you Connie, don't now. Connie, Connie. Sorry. It's hey, Ricky. How's it going? Horribly awry. How is it? Oh yeah, and I'm the great Ricky, by the way. In I'm case. the great Ricky, by the way. 
the acoustics in this area are very he's strange. Like, I'm the great Mickey, so. He's like Cyclops. So as you've you noticed, we have some special guest eyes. stars with us. We've got none wow. other than so sit down. the no, mini Rikis, Dylan no. and Jason. And we have no, 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 those are the mini Rikis. Shut up! Today's Cat TV no news More is... More news, okay. ...getting a little bit tired. You need to sit down and be quiet for a minute so we can carry on with the I show. I didn't even get to introduce you guys. I know. Would you let Dan introduce you? I already introduced. That's Jason Reiki right there. Yes. Jason Reiki. Let's that's go, Dylan Reiki. Jason. Yeah, that's Let's me. Go, Nicholas, Jason. Nathaniel, and uh, Jasper. Is it Jasper? No, it's, not. it's Noah Michi. Noah, Noah that's Michi. Noah 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 Michi. We do it. We're doing a television show here, and we're just glad everybody's watching. We're glad for all the people that came down, and, and let's start off Wait, by... Stop. You know what? Now is time for you to be quiet. Do we have a crowd shot? Thanks. Hey, we're sorry. Our, our huge crowd here seeing the show live, our first live studio audience, much that. like Happy Days, Halfway was taped show, in front switch. of a live studio audience. So are we in this particular case. Um, fans of the show, people who call in, except for the people who are going to call in right now. I dare say this is far more spontaneous. It is more spontaneous. And one thing about Happy Days, you know what you never saw in Happy Days? Daddy. What's that? Color bars. That's true. Is Mike? There's Mike. There we go. Mike Cunningham, Mike Cunningham is in the Cunningham. house. He go. is in the house. And wow, a good fade as well. You can always call us at 508-830-3971. That's 508-830-3971 if you, know, you want to get down on the I wish had a caller. The only problem here is, though, Dan, I believe all of our callers are here. Are, are actually here. Probably That's all not our true. Viewers. We did get to see Andrew. Andrew showed up. Um, we've got other fans of the show here. April, April, hus April's husband, Chris. Yes, by the way, April uh, made the cake. Oh, yeah, the cake you I'm saw on the beginning sure of the show. I'm pretty sure with no assistance from Chris. Yay! <laughs> hey, you know what? We've got a caller who wants to participate in this grand event. Oh, yeah. Quiet now. You've got to be quiet during the call. Hi, guys. Hi, Karen. How are you? Listen. Oh, Happy it's Slacker. Thank it's you. It's Slacker. Hi, I have no clue who you are. It's Slacker. Now, excuse me. You know what? It's Slacker What? Ready. Excuse me. One second, Karen. Didn't I say something about what happens when the caller calls in? It's Slacker the Sky Dragon. <laughs> slacker the Sky Dragon. Slacker the Sky Dragon. Oh, I know this person the, how? The well, just for the record, you know, Wind I'll sell them cheap. <laughs> Five dollars, please. Anybody, anybody, anybody? anybody? Ten dollars. Going, going, going. Anyway, going, quiet. Going Are we speaking to Karen? Or We're going to now. Karen, you know, thank you for calling. Um, Where are you? I'm home, but I want to tell you happy anniversary. Thank, well, thank you. you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh my God. Sorry, I don't have a record. You don't need to yell. You're plenty loud just <laughs> talking. Well, I am. Thank you for no, your. No, no. Uh, I'm serious, Dylan. Your consideration. Participation. He's just kind of. Yeah, thank idiot. you very much. Um, guys. Yeah. The only thing I know about wrestling. Is one I time one. I put somebody in a headlock. Yeah. It worked. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I know. You yes, can either it does. choke them out, yeah. put them to sleep, I or just stay. make them go through a lot of pain by putting the bone of your forearm against the head and just squeezing. I know. It happened to be Kenny, but that's another story. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, what, my, my question to you is. Are you all right? Well, actually, I guess, Karen, it's more to Dan. Dan, there is a reversal to a headlock, though, as we know. Yes, there is. If you're a stronger than the other person, you can dump them on their head. Yeah, side suplex, but that's hey, for another. That's for another you. time. Oh. So, um, well, I'm going to let you go back to uh, kindergarten. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Well, well played. Bye -bye, yeah, let's get. Let's yeah, we're going to have the. Uh, we're going to have the food, the snacks come out soon. What did they used to serve in kindergarten? They used to serve. Uh, Crackers. Valium. Yeah, I wish. What's Valium? Um, it was uh, that green stuff, I the crunchy stuff. Mush! Uh, Jello! Celery with uh, peanut butter and Gruel! It. That was the best back then in kindergarten. It's all falling apart now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's all right. If it didn't fall apart, it wouldn't be a live show with midgets. I know. Yep. Hey! Points to consider. So, anyway. 
Goodbye. <laughs> Did we yeah. leave this at some point? Yeah. Jason, please in an, sit down. In an effort to provide some kind of news or entertainment on the show tonight, we're going to have somebody other than me we're reading these SmackDown yeah. spoilers. Camera, number two, number two. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sit down. This is my big shot. This is chance. Give him a chance here. Dark matches. Well, first, SmackDown taping highlights from Milwaukee. Dark matches. Kenyon and Chad Collar, shut up. Beats Travis Tromoko. Tomo, Tomko, and Kevin Erding OVWs. <laughs> okay. That would be conning is getting it's like an episode punks. of cop. Okay, guys. It is. Guys. You never know why. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Go bad ahead. boys, bad boys. Yeah. What you gonna do? Oh. Uh, well, hold at least on a sec. you got someone to populate the chair. Uh huh. Hey. No, no, no. Anyway, Dan, did you know that uh, April made the cake? Yes, she did. Yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not only that, yeah, but no, 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 Dylan, Dylan, we'll get back to you in a second. I want to make sure and thank You'll get your all chance. our sponsors who provided all of the thank other you things. Thank you for being so supportive. Yeah, we had so the many abundance people. abundance of food here tonight. Mm, we did all have those chicken who... fingers and chicken wings. To bed, you weren't here to enjoy everything. That's true. That would be, and for the chicken wings, chicken fingers. Was that and, Ming Dynasty? Uh, that was chicken fingers Dynasty didn't last too long because of me. Yep. And uh, we would had... you please, you know what, Dylan, eventually you'll have a chance to talk. Relax. But it's not now. Relax. Center yourself. Al's restaurant, I believe, also oh, was a, was uh, provided some tasty pizza. delectables. Al's is As did Checkers Pizza. Checkers as and well. And we'd like to thank all thank three of them. Thank you very much. And in fact, this first 20 minutes of the show will be sponsored by uh, Checkers what? Pizza. Can we do that? We can. All make right. it the first 15 because I want to make sure G and G. Okay, I guess the first 15 is Al's restaurant. Yeah. Because that's what he did. Uh, yeah, and the, and uh, sponsored in part by Mike, not just Al's restaurant. Oh, it's up there. That's great. Look at the production quality we G &G have. G and G salt screen. That's the that's right. Just at the last second, amazing stuff individual. ends up on TV like magic. We have a top ten list tonight too. Do we? Yes. That's a Dave Letterman reference where he would throw a pen at the camera. Well, he used to throw it at the camera. And then he would throw it behind into the nah, scenery you'll take of, my eye out. It'll go of, right uh, through the glass. It'll be all of over. New York, and then they'd put the sound of breaking glass. So we you have a top have ten list? Of, Are we going to go with it? We do have a top ten list eventually, but we will go with the SmackDown spoilers first. All right, here we go. We're going to take some questions from the crowd. It's gotten dramatically quieter here. It's like magic again. So go ahead, Dylan. Yeah, you were talking, yeah. Dylan Ricci. You were speaking of uh, SmackDown spoilers. Canyon and... All right. All right. From the very beginning. Okay. SmackDown taping highlights from Milwaukee. Dark <laughs> mad, dark matches. Hey, Dylan. Kenny and get... Chad call here. Beat Travis Tomko and Kevin Furting. Furting. Dylan, one thing I want Fertig. to tell you here, Dylan, when you're reading these. Fertig. These are dark matches. If you don't say their names right, in many instances, no one cares. going to know. Furtig. Who's he? Who knows? Some jobber. Who knows? Well, anyways, OVW's Bane and, and Seven, the dis... They have... All right, I'll, I'll skip that. Spanky and Paul London beat Ken Anderson and who? Some guy. And they don't some even know. guy. But here's what you're going to see on Velocity, Velocity this week. Yep, yep. Jamie Noble beat Shannon Moore. Sean O'Hare beats Kevin Krunger. Krunger. Yeah. Cougar. Cougar. Let me give you a hint, Dylan. You know why I don't read things on the show? What was I say? Kruger. Kruger. Because my glasses don't allow me to read them. Rhino beats Funaki. Big surprise. Rey Mysterio <laughs> beats Nuzio. Yep. Who's Nuzio? Nuzio. Little FBI guy. Little Guido. Oh, he's... ECW. Oh, F... ECW. FBI. Full-blooded. Italian. Idiot. Italians. Yeah. So yeah. So it's SmackDown! And Eddie Guerrero beats Matt down. Hardy more. Not. Eddie Guerrero beats Matt Hardy more. Tried to use the belt, but belt shot. But, but Travo. Travo did, did instead. Okay, just next. Show, show long Guerrero's. I don't what? even know what that means. Show long Guerrero's. Oh, they showed a long Guerrero versus Big Show. Show long Guerrero's, Guerrero's versus Big Show. I didn't write this. Versus Big it. Show angle. Show doesn't 
like their kind. This is right out of the 70s. But likes yeah, their that'd food. Be correct. You know what? Don't read everything. Just read Malik's yourself. Malik's coming. Read who wins. Just read who wins because you don't need to read the opinions. Show of punked else. out we Eddie. Shows punked out Eddie. Chavo okay. asked, how can you let him do this? But Uncle Eddie has a plan. Bashing Brothers beat APA due to interference from Shaniqua. Can you feel the people turning their channels? Yeah. It's not an unusual feeling for us. Bradshaw gave her a clothesline afterward. Chris Benoit beats Charlie Haas yeah, DQ. Haas. Yep. Charlie Haas DQ when A Train interfered. A, a Train claimed he was going to beat Benoit with the cross face and used it here. Go Vince and Stephanie. Yeah, you don't need to read that. We'll go right down to here. Tajiri beats Kidman. Orlando Jordan beats Sh Big Show. Win. Big Show win. via count out. Maybe yes, show. No, yes. Don't, don't read that. You don't need to read that. Zach Allen says not only will he show up next week, but he's wrestling. Is there a second page to this? There was, but it's in there with my note to Mike. Uh, all right. There wasn't really anything else. Nah, who cares? It was just a minute. So there are your SmackDown spoilers. What's going to happen tomorrow night? You just found out about tonight for all of you who are still watching. So let me see. Thank you. Uh, do we have any questions from the crowd? Any comments? Please, Anything please, you're... just come in. Or do we have any phone calls? If any of you are out there and have oh, yeah. a phone near We are taking phone. calls at 830-3971. That's 508-830-3971. And if you don't, and if you can't remember it, we'll keep it up for like two minutes and you can copy it's it It's right down. up there on the screen right now. I can see it. Whoa. Uh, I usually phone in. This time. So That's right. I'll pretend that I'm phoning in. Do we have a microphone out there up? for people? We've got a carry mic right there. Oh, Carrie. my gosh. It's oh, like we know boy. we're doing. Who are we speaking with, ding -a -ling. sir? This is Wayne. All right. Hi, Wayne. Wayne Don't call yourself a ding -a -ling, Wayne. Uh, I, I provided the, the wrestling buddies. Yes, you did. We but, appreciate but that. But beyond that, at your suggestion, I happen to tune in the women's wrestling. Yeah, I think it's terrible. Cool. The women's <laughs> wrestling matches. Yes, the the it's ones terrible. On They're not even good. You know, uh, whether you. I think they, there's no wrestling it. there. I concur. I did. I it, recommend it. No, I it think I mean, possibly I did, because so, on occasion, some oh. of them are pretty good, and okay. some of them are absolutely atrocious. Oh. Well, this what a surprise! I, but I, what I, I think saw. what I mostly said I was that. No, I think you actually said it was pretty good. I said I think there's some of the wrestlers are good. Yeah. Yep, and I think there's I think they can I do something with it. I think what I well, said. Well, I, I guess okay. what I wanted to know was who was that one wrestler you thought was pretty good because Molly Holly. Molly decent, Holly's pretty good. Molly Holly and who else? She was a gymnast. I don't think there was anyone else. I think uh, Lita's women. not horrible. Uh, I don't even know if they're using. Hold on, don't hit my Is microphone. Trish good microphone at all? Because I don't want to waste my time watching it again unless it's going to be Molly. Well, I have a solution for you, Wayne. Very yes, soon, so do we're going to be featuring a show called Joshi Explosion. Joshi is women's wrestling from Japan. Uh, they take it a lot more seriously. All They're right. a lot more athletic. They run around, they jump, they fly. They do a lot of the stuff that the, the men wrestlers do, but they do it a lot faster, and they can do it longer because they only weigh like 80 pounds each. They're not out just to sell T-shirts. No, not at all. So if you want to watch women's wrestling that actually has wrestling on it, then I recommend you tune in very soon for the debut of Joshi Explosion. Oh, well, thank you guys. And I'm sorry that you wasted your time watching the American women wrestling because they can't. I know, but you made for up for it with no. the food. Ah, well, yeah, at least we did that. I don't know if your, your listeners know they can come down here. And they sure. We're on the air till yeah. 10. Actually, we're live, so they know that we're always oh, here. Yeah. 134 so Street. So you, so you guys just feel free to get out of your home and get out. Okay. Well, I'm going <laughs> to hang up now. All right. Bye. Hanging up from the mic. Thank you, was, Wayne. Oh, was, there, was there a Let's caller? Let's hear it for Wayne, everybody. Was there a caller? I believe there may be a caller. I think caller. we had a caller. Nope, we didn't have a caller. I heard the phone ring, though. Yeah, but Mike it was... Mike got rid of him. It was a... The tax collector or something. I don't know. Probably. They're probably saying. I don't. Hello, I don't have morning. ratings for this week's RAW. I don't know why they're not out yet. There may be a computer problem with Nielsen. That happens from time to time. But we should speak about what's important. And what's important is a three DVD set, Ric Flair, the ultimate Ric Flair DVD set that's going to be supposedly released by the WWE in the middle of November. I think it's November 18th. Three DVDs, we have no idea what's on it. We're, it's like a wish list. People are talking on the internet, Talk on the message boards. 
Speaking November of what they should have. November 18th is the most evil day in history. It is the most evil day in history. Do you history. know why? Well, that's the day that uh, I don't remember why. Because you got the three DVD Ric Flair set coming out. Yes. The special edition of the two towers coming out. The real one? Yes. I don't want the one with the golem figure. I just want the four DVD set. Oh, either way. And lastly, you've got the we Indiana got Jones her. trilogy coming out Are that they? same we got a day. Caller. I mean, that's a lot of money. It is. Caller, do we have one? I think we do have Please. a caller. You certainly do. Hi, Frank. How are you? I'm oh, fine. Mr. Frank <laughs> Coluccio. Yeah. How are you, sir? Thank you for stopping by earlier. Well, you know, I, I had to call you because uh, the great Ricky, you know, you hit, you hit 100 shows. That, that's that got to be quite an accomplishment. You know what it is more than anything? What's that? A terrific waste of 100 hours. <laughs> yeah. Grim well, determination and total... Uh, Lack of objectiveness. That's right. You guys, you three have been too silent. You guys can speak up. Not okay. only that, but uh, you, you have a, the hundredth show, but you also have a cast of a hundred. <laughs> it seems Very like it, doesn't it? Certainly, the, the noise of a hundred. But anyway, I, I just wanted to congratulate you because you've done a heck of a job for you know all the hundred shows, and I know what it takes. You know, I've been there. I know what it takes to do shows. And I, I must commend you. You guys do a good job all the time. Well, that means well, a lot coming from you, coming from you, who knows what it takes sometimes He's to get these shows in the can. Producer, you know. Oh yeah, you are an award-winning producer. I remember now. <laughs> well, listen, I, I just want to congratulate you again, and I wish you a hundred more. Thanks. Well, thank okay. Appreciate much. it, Frank. Good night. Is, is, now, is that actually congratulating us, wishing a good thing or a bad thing upon us? I don't know. Us, dun, dun, all dun. I know is us Packy Award winners have to stick together. That's it's right. A tightly knit group. Uh, let's see, let's see. So we don't know anything that's going to be on these three DVDs for Ric Flair. We do know some of the matches are going to be on this cage it's probably, match. It's probably going to be about Ric Flair. You think? That was very I'll insightful. bet a duck. Well, no, I won't. A cage match, two DVD set, three and a half hours of complete cage match footage. Eleven matches are going to be on for, ex for bonus footage. We only know five right now. And the Ric Flair I, one's interesting to I me. I don't know if Snooka versus Backlund is going to be there, where Snooka dives off the top of the cage, the famous picture where he's standing on the top. We don't know if that's going to be on there yet. And Mick Foley's there in the background. Yeah, it was rumored that it was going to be on the Trish Stratus DVD, but it ended up not being on there. Why? Because, because they didn't Why want to make them, excuse me, Dylan, the real key was I, they didn't want to have there really be any reason for anyone to ever buy the Trish I think Stratus they, they, DVD. It was just a rumor anyway. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What else is going on in the world of wrestling? What else is going Hogan's on? Hogan's in Japan. Hogan will be in Good. Japan in October, wrestling on the 13th, the Hope Dome show. Hope partners with Muta. Actually, Hogan. what he is currently going to do is he is going to face Masahiro Chono in a singles match. We have a caller. What did you call me? Now, you know better Riki. than that. What did I call you? Andrew, too, is calling in. What's up? Not much, Andrew. Hello, Andrew How's it going? Too. Pretty good. Can you guys hear me okay? We got yeah. you loud and clear. All right, my phone's a little weird. Uh, I know you guys both don't like Christian or RVD much, but what do you guys think of the ladder match they had on Monday? Um, you can say it. I don't think either one of us has seen it. Yeah, I don't think I've seen it. I actually thought it was pretty good because well, I'm a big Christian fan. You know, it's funny, Andrew. We've you know, got, we have somebody live as a member of our live studio audience that has seen the match. Chris, what did you think of the match? I thought it was really good. They both put on a good show. We, Chris thinks it was good as well. You I may, agree with you, Andrew. You may be bring, building a groundswell of support Andrew for this match too. that might actually get me to watch it. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't actually dislike Christian that much. I think RVD is horrifically overrated. Well, wasn't he really exposed in that three-man match on the pay-per-view? I heard that he was super sloppy. Again. No, well, RVD. Is, RVD is I like, always I, sloppy. I actually like Christian's gimmick of not... Uh, does he still do the tantrums, or is he over that he now? He hasn't done many tantrums lately. He has yeah. actually has Shannon Moore do the Keyboard. tantrums for him. That's even better. Um, I like that. With uh, with RVD, one way RVD could always look like he was less sloppy than he was. Yeah. Was competing in a promotion that also had Sabu. Sure. The or Sandman. Sabu yeah. stinks. Yeah. Or He's Sandman. Well, Sandman wasn't yeah. so much. Musical chairs time, guys. What are we doing? So any, anything else, Andrew? Yeah. What do you think of uh? Well, did you guys see Raw at all? I saw a little of it, but uh, Ricky to be saw honest, some. I can't remember much of it. Well, what do you think of Triple H putting out $100,000 to whoever takes out Goldberg? I think That's it's old not the school. first time this has been done. That's old school bounty who, putting out a bounty on another who guy. Said, um, who was it? You don't need to shout, and you don't need to interrupt. I hate that. He has a question. I, I can't believe Scott Steiner, like, 
to the suplexes. Yeah, belly that belly. was something. Belly Did belly you know that? Down. What? Stacy. He belly to belly uh, Stacy Keebler. Oh. Because she caught because he she took the chair away from a uh, test. Yep. Which cost them the match. So she's like, she's like, do you forgive me? Do you forgive me? Like, you just cost me the match, and you wanted to know if I forgive you. She's like, yeah, yeah. I was like, hell no. And he's like, she belly tries to, to get away. She tries to get away. She takes him by the hair. She, yep. He takes her by the hair and belly, belly suplex. Well, he's been a failure so far. The fans don't care about him. I bet you they're going to care more about him now. As he works a lot better as a heel than a face, yep. even with his whole gimmick with the uh, Big Papa Pump thing, he was a heel. Sure, he was all, he was a heel the entire time. He was yep. in the NWO, wasn't he? When he was doing that, at least yeah. tried. What's the matter? Um, so, I I was interested. I was glad to see Steiner lose that match where he had to become the servant of Test because they've tried to do stuff with Steiner. It just didn't work. So now that they're, uh, they're Maybe they'll get something done with Steiner this way. And also, I have one other thing. Yeah. Last week you were talking about Mark Henry and how he didn't want to push the limits of his contract. Yeah, yeah. Why did he? Uh, he actually kind of went for Triple H's offer by taking out Shawn Michaels. Did you see that in the main event? I think I, I, did. I heard about it. I think I did. He, uh... Well, I think that they're still trying to find a way to use Mark Henry because they did spend all that money on him up front. They and still it... don't have. They, they can get him involved somehow. I think you're going to see this endless string of uh, guys now that the bounty's on Goldberg's head. Yeah. I think you're going to see a lot of guys you haven't seen before just coming out of the woodwork trying to take out, um, trying to take out Goldberg. Maybe this is the way that they elevate Goldberg in a slightly different way than they did back in 1997-98 where they just had him win 100 matches in a row. Now they're going to have Triple H as the injured guy doing movies continually sending new guys trying to take out Goldberg, and Goldberg is able to defeat them all. Yeah. Did you know? I also heard a rumor of uh, the main event at WrestleMania 20 with yeah. Triple H versus Goldberg for the title with Triple H holding it then. Really? That's what then I you think. guys are going to really, um, then you guys are really going to, um, what? Like, care, but it's a movie Goldberg's going to be in. Oh, you're right. His big star he's gonna role be, is Nappa. He's going to be Nappa in the Dragon Ball Z movie oh. in 2005. Wow. So you heard it here first. And, and the rock might be Wait. south. It's true. It's darn true. It's darn true. Okay. That's oh, up. it's Basically, true. Some good it's anime true. manga sort of trivia going there. Mm. Wrong show. So, yeah, that's all I want to say. And good luck on your Honda show. And I'll Thanks. call you next week. Cool. So Thanks, Andrew, so too. Don't we need a whole lot of luck on our 100th show? Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> all right. <laughs> now we get our callers harassing us. Well, Excellent. You know, we certainly invited yeah, them to. The only thing I've heard about WrestleMania 20's main event, I know that Savage has been talking in the media and the public about trying to get a match with Hogan for WrestleMania 20. We've also heard about Hogan versus Vince for the 20th WrestleMania. I don't know what they're going to do. They've got a ways to go, but usually in the old days, by SummerSlam, they knew what the mess main event of WrestleMania mm -hmm. was going to be. When, when I'm not so sure they know now. I, unless they're going with Goldberg Triple H, and I see no point in that. Why? I, I haven't seen... Yeah. How come none of us have seen Ultimo Dragon yet? Yeah, you yeah, have. Not much. You know what? I think we got another question from the audience. We do. Go, go ahead. ahead. It's not ready. Sure it is. Yeah, it is if you Hello? can speak. Yeah, we can hear you. It's not, it's not it doesn't have a light. It's not, it's, it you doesn't have sound. They hear you, not you. Trust me. No, no, it's, 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 it's coming in. It comes in right in the control now. room. Ask your question. Shh. What? Ask your question. You got something to say? Say you all stink. We, we, can't, we can't get them. What's, what's 8 times 45? <laughs> It, it is three. It is three hundred and sixty. Relax. Who's the biggest? Who's the biggest wrestler ever? Oh. Giant Bubba. No, no, no. Andre the Giant. Well, you guys mm. keep going, and when you're done, Dan will answer the question. I'm done. Go ahead, Dan. My guess: what biggest is, needs to be defined. Do you mean tallest, or do, or do you, you mean heaviest? You don't need. To, uh, you don't need to keep oh, hitting it. I would say. Oh. I would say the heaviest is probably Haystacks Calhoun. I think I Haystacks Calhoun tipped the scales at over 600 pounds. Well, as far as tall, there are some wrestlers who didn't wrestle very long, like um, 
El Gigante, El Gigante was, was, was taller than the giant, but he yep. was really skinny, so he didn't last long. He was legit seven foot four or seven foot two. Yeah, that's what they said. He was six foot ten. You know what? In real life. They lied. But he's still six foot ten. He's still so is Yao a foot Ming taller really than anybody. Seven foot five? I think he is. He could be. Yeah. So uh, that's your heaviest, Haystacks Calhoun, although Happy Humphrey was was not light by any stretch of the imagination. No. He was well over 500 pounds, but I think Haystacks Calhoun is, was probably the heaviest. Yeah, because he did. That Arab guy? The, we, mm, with the turban and the, he was very I'm trying, I'm trying to think. You talk, is maybe? that Sabu? Abdul the Butcher, maybe? Maybe Abdul. Yeah, yeah. He's not light. Um, no, he wouldn't be the heaviest, though. 600 is. Well, that's why Haystacks Calhoun, it was such a big deal in the early 60s when Bruno San Martino was able to pick him up. Could never body slam him, but actually San Martino got him off, off the ground. Well, Hogan picked up Andre. Yeah, and Andre weighed over 500 when yeah. he did it. Yeah. But that's not yeah. 600. Half of a like, yeah, it Brock is. Yeah. Lesnar, it's just, like, it's not a big surprise. I mean, like, Brock Lesnar picking up Big Show and actually pulling off a, um... F5? Yeah, F5. That's yeah. It. Somebody on camera, get this, because this is insanity at its finest. Tell us all about the news in Pack TV. We have more today. news, Jason. Okay, go ahead. Talk in the microphone. You can tell everybody. It's on. What? 55 times 91. 55 times 91. Well, I, I prefer to break it down. Mark. Break it down into the tens column and the ones column. 55 times 9, oh, as we what? all know, is 450 what? plus 45, what? 495. What? 495 what? Plus Amazing. 55 more. What's 10 to the so I think we're talking power. about 550. What? 10 times one million trillion. Ooh. What? What? That's a good one. Ten that would be ten no. million trillion. No, what? 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 I don't mean that. I don't mean that. I'll do this. What? A million trillion times a million trillion billion. Three six million. That's uh. That's a I lot. I think that's about how say many it, times. Say it. Say it. Say it. That's how many people are on stage. Yeah, that's true. Or the decibel level. This, this car wreck is brought to you by Ming Dynasty of Plymouth. Thank you very much for sponsoring you know this, this though, part of the man? show. Beauty. The, 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 Strong words. This show. People are going to love this show. The are audience they? finds this funny. Do ya? That's great. <laughs> Yay. You see, they like to share our pain. Do they? Oh, or at least see us in pain. Oh. All right, now you can give the microphone back to someone in the Yeah, we got to give it to somebody in the crowd who might want to ask a question. And Jason can do that, I'm sure, by himself. Just do it now. Um, yes, wait. boss. He operates on. Please go hand it to someone else. Wings? My turn? Yes, they did. They did. Oh. Chicken wings, oh. chicken fingers. They brought other stuff right. as well. You guys, That's correct. your chicken fingers are the best. Well, yeah. if that is isn't, have it from Dylan if, if that is not a ringing endorsement, I don't know what is. Does he remind you of, like, Lance? Who, Nathaniel? Yeah. Possibly too much. You've been talking this whole time. Yeah. It's always your turn. Lance a lot. But we know it's not Lance because we have seen. Well, let's bring up our Lance oh, information. Wow, look at that profile. This is like it was really done professionally. Mike, do you have the thing I want? Yeah, we're, we're cracked. There you go. There is Lance. Is it my turn? You're talking. <laughs> hey! Oh. oh, he's so. Bring that one back up. We had to do my, that, did we? It all comes my down turn. to that. Bring that back up. Do you know who that was? Do you know who that was? That, that was Dan Gennady's high school yearbook picture. Low that those many years there. ago. Is it my turn? You're talking already. It's always your turn somehow. Is it my that turn? That boy oh, right. Caller, caller. So, talk. Hey, we have a caller. Hold on, Jason, you got a caller. You do not need to yell, Jason. Hi, Mark. Oh, yeah. Hi, guys. How are you? Pretty good. How about yourself? Is this Dan, Mark S. Lord great, of City Dan. Lights, City Streets? Dan. What? Uh, you're looking great, Dan. Um, Thanks. Appreciate I'm, it. I'm glad to see you without your shorts on. Yeah, well, it's getting a little cold for that. It's got to be 30 degrees in here. It's freezing. There, there you go. You were talking about Haystack Calhoun and stuff. Yeah. Now, now there was another guy that uh, lost his ear. Was his name Killer Kowalski? Or? You, uh, yes. Killer Kowalski took another man's ear, guy Yukon Eric. In the old days when they would wrestle the headlocks and stuff, it would tear up their ears and they would calcify. 
Right. And to get really hard, his the youth guy, Yukon Eric, had his head stuck in the ropes right. and got kicked by Killer Kowalski. Yeah. And the ear came off. Yeah, th uh, another similar Kali situation uh, he was talking is um, Mick Foley ears. lost yeah, part Kali of his ear. Yeah, cauliflower ear is exactly what I was talking about. So what is that? What is it, the blood stops going to the ear or something? Or? <sighs> what happens is, is that when you tear the skin away from the cartilage, the blood flows into that area. Uh -huh. And then if they don't drain it, it hardens. Tell you about it later. Right. Don't and worry, it turns into like deal. a rock. And over time, there's it's just a big hard piece of material oh, off the side of your head. So it could just pop off when okay. you when you whack it or something. Yeah, well these guys were doing that six nights a week. So yeah. that style of wrestling, six nights a week, yeah. they never had a chance to drain it or heal it or anything. Right, you know, you know, Dan, they were saying that the wrestling's fake, but it really isn't, is it? Uh, the injuries are real more often you, you than find not. Fake. As f you know what? It's as fake as a soap opera. It's as fake as uh, what physical. they do in ballet. Yeah, but it's more physical, though, right? People really Absolutely. do get hurt. Uh, they can. It's more inappropriate now. The, the, good, the good wrestlers get hurt a lot less often because they're able to make a punch look like it lands but still right. miss. Yeah. And they're able to know when the punch is coming and get out of the way just at the last second with, without making it look bad. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I had a question, too, about this guy. What's his name? Uh... He, he uh, runs the uh, World Wrestling League there, and his daughter and his wife get Vince into McMahon? it. Yeah. Vincent Kennedy What the hell McMahon. is that all about? I don't know. He's an egomaniac, and he's desperate for ideas. He thinks that his business is not a cyclical business, but it really is. So every you time... You some ideas bringing off you know, I believe that... I believe so Dan he thinks uh, he yeah. thinks that by including his own family members in the show, he can spark some interest in it. And to some degree, he has, but really yeah. not a lot. Especially yeah. with Shane and Kane. Yeah. So I, I just want I just want to congratulate you guys for a great show and thanks. Uh, thank you. Well, Mark, out of curiosity, have you I done hundred episodes in like the last three months? What's that? Have you done hundred episodes in like the last three months? You do uh, you do five episodes a week, right? Yeah. Well, my my Seven. total my total hours is about twenty two hundred hours. Phew, boy. But th but I'm not here for this. But uh, anyway, guys, listen, uh, uh, you're doing a great job. And uh, listen, uh, Mike Hogan, is he a relative of uh, Hulk Hogan? I believe he is. Uh, he certainly <laughs> has a similar hair pattern. Right? Because he looks like him if you look like him. I think, I think you may have just uh, stepped into something there, so to yeah. speak. I think yeah. there's a secret there that needs to come out. There really is, because he's, he's quite a guy, too, and you guys are, too, and keep up the good work. I want to congratulate you. And Thanks. Uh, th thank you for not censoring me like the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. All right. Those Bye, jerks. Guys. See ya. Take it easy. Mark. There's thank Mark Lord. Oh, Mark! You know, at this point, it's probably we're, we're time for our top ten list. Yeah, I think I we mean, should yeah. get that done. Number ten, the top ten What's reasons the to watch the wrestling scene. It's Top funny. 10 reasons to watch the wrestling scene. Number 10. For the insightful wrestling commentary. Yay. Not particularly funny, that one. Number 9. Where else can the conversation jump from boxing to wrestling to politics to movie pre pre reviews inside of three minutes? That's true. Wow. Yay. Number 8. The bodybuilding tips. <laughs> Number seven, you are the wind and you cannot Benef spell Beneath our wings. wings. That's you guys. You guys, you guys. Number six, if you don't, Dan could get angry. You wouldn't like him when he's angry. <laughs> That's an old Incredible Hulk reference for you old TV watchers out there. Number five, we can't live if living is without you. That's another 70s reference to Air Supply. Oh, no, is it Air Supply? No, it's somebody else. It's it Harry is Harry Nelson. Nelson. Yes. Thank you very much. I was Number thinking David Soul. Number four, Solar. color bars. Yay! Number three. Number... Th Number three, this is reality television. Talk, there's no doubt about that. Number, Number two. two, it's not a Mark Lord production. We must have just, we just threw that in. And the number one reason for watching the wrestling scene, it's 100% guaranteed to cure insomnia. Thank you. When you can't sleep, if you watch our show, you'll fall asleep.
Yeah. We and try again, to we, thank that, uh, our sponsors. Yeah, we provide that insomnia cure as a service to our listeners and fans who watch. It's something that we like to do. Some weeks uh, it's more effective than others. That's true. In the crazy world of wrestling, we get even crazier. But not quite as crazy as... Our upcoming caller. Our upcoming next call. We, we are able to see into the future, just like we do with these SmackDown spoilers. We can see into the future, and we know that we're going to be having a phone call any minute. We hope. He's on. Hello, caller. It's Andrew One again. Andrew right. One. Andrew One attended the show. This guy's pulling double duty today. He attended the festivities, and now he's on the phone. Much like Mr. Frank Pelucci. He's Andrew. I thought he was Andrew Two. No, Andrew no, Two. That, Andrew Two is the other guy. The, he's the other Andrew. Andrew, what can we do for you? I uh, I just want to congratulate you guys on uh, the show. Thanks. Appreciate it. Well, everyone's well, thank you. Congratulating. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah, and that's about it. All right. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Andrew. Right, thanks. Bye. Well, I know I'd like to congratulate Dan on the show. Thanks. I'd like to congratulate Ricky on the show. Because it wasn't long ago, about a year ago, that well, we, we, were, were, we were... We were. Hi, Chris. How are you? Good, good. I just want to call congratulations on your 100th program on uh, it's, the Talking Wrestling. It's Mayor Tom Menino, everybody. Oh, Mayor oh, Tom Menino. Wow. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Chris. And boy, Appreciate I'll tell you, it. talk about double duty. Yeah, but one of, the, one of your biggest fans... Yep. And also, the Good Bad Heck was a good program, too. Well, we, I'm sure they appreciate that support as well. Yep, this guy's even much. though they censored Mark Lord. And, uh, well, I just want to call up and say congratulations, and I'll be, uh, I'll be watching all the time. Thanks a lot, Chris. Anytime. Mayor Tom Menino, everybody. Uh, what were you saying? Oh, oh, it was about a year ago. We were looking at it and saying, gosh, we really don't care about wrestling, the day-to-day -day product of the WWE. And we're strongly considering just stopping the show, dropping it we to talked, a half yeah. hour. There were a lot of things discussed, but the prevalent one was just not doing it anymore. And Ricky wanted to do the live call-in show. I had seen Talking Wrestling before. So I said, no, I don't want to be part of this because it will become Talking very wrestling. bad. And he convinced me, he said, this is something we should try because our listenership is going to be different than Talking Wrestlings. And he was right. And because of that, yes, because I of you, often am. often am, because of you, this show is still on the air and it's going to remain on the air until we get tired of it. Or you guys stop calling in. Until they get old. No, that's too late. I'm already here. Hey, you're new. I made it. I'm new and sensitive. No, you're sensitive. That's right. And I'm new. Wow. I haven't told him myself, but I'm shy. Wow, Ricky. Hey. Yeah. So, like I said, it's because of you I, callers that we're here. And if you'd like to call, you can always call 508-830-3971. believe we have a, an audience member who once was on set. There seems to be a lot of this going on. A former a Migratory, our, our, our uh, Ricky troop. Yes. Yeah, Doc. I want to ask you a question about all this Goldberg. No Goldberg. Man. What yeah, about Goldberg? Speak up, son. He's um, so far he he's like risking his con uh, contract. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. So why is he risking his contract? Why is he risking his contract? Because that puts something on the line that makes what you think contract? That chance. Oh yeah. Well, he was supposed to retire if he lost the match. Yeah, and... that's right. A retirement match. That's Let me a... tell you something about retirement matches. The yeah. minute outside of Shinya Hashimoto, which he didn't, he still he still really didn't. He still didn't retire. But. Uh, if you hear that somebody's putting their career on the line, it is a generally a pretty good bet they're going to win the match. Yep. I don't know. I can't think of anybody who didn't put their career on the line who ended up winning, not winning the match, other than one or two examples. The other 40, everyone who put up their career won the match to well, save their like career. Was like Mick Foley won and like Hulk Hogan won? You know what? That's someone who lost. Dylan, from, from nowhere, he comes up with it. Mick Foley lost his retirement match, didn't he? And and so far, but he, he came back to WrestleMania, didn't he? Well, he, he sort of did, but that was only one special match. That's a good point. I think it was because like some guy said, "I give up," instead of him. And yeah, that's what it was. You remember where they used the interview when he talked about "I give up"? No, it was that against the Rock. We have another question. I remember that one. That was during the Super Bowl. It was against yeah. the. And out of nowhere, I hear this, I give up, and it was obviously canned, Wasn't but they still called it. Wasn't his final retirement match, though, against Triple H? Triple H. Was that the WrestleMania four-way match, though? 
Because he was in a four-way match that was... No, that was afterwards, I believe. He came back for that one. We have a question from the audience. Oh, question from the audience. Um, I promise if I can go on this stage, if I'd be good. Sure you can. Come on I don't see here. why not. Everyone can come on the Apparently stage. Apparently there's enough room for everybody. Right. Look at this go. guy. Jonathan, right? Yeah. This Jonathan. guy, Jonathan, asked. Now he's on the show, a member of the wrestling scene family. That's all it takes if you call we, right now at 508-830-3971. We have faith in, that Jonathan will actually, in, in having this opportunity, be better than many other people who we've said yes to. That's true. We've had other guests on the show that have brought a lot less to the table. So, how are we doing on time, Michael? There's always too much, Dan. It seems like it. I have a quick question for the youngsters on the show. All right. Yes. We, you guys seem to be pretty knowledgeable about wrestling. Yeah, we love now, wrestling. one at a time, wrestling. can each of you tell me who you think is the currently the greatest wrestler still wrestling? Noah. So we'll start, start here. Noah. Noah. Who do you like best? Kane. Kane. That's all right. Noah Michi, what are you saying? How about Jonathan here? What do you think? Who's your favorite? Ray Mysterio. Ray Mysterio, that's a good choice. Good choice. How about Dylan? I Ricky. I like lots of people. I basically like one. Pick one. You have to pick one. Well, this is hard between Nelson McGregor and Mike. It's not hard. Well, since don't one of them don't be. wrestling Liger. in the States. Liger. Jushin Steinler Liger is his favorite. Wrestler, not in the States. Oh, he did? Yeah. Yep. All right. It's also a dragon in our States. Nathaniel? Yep, go ahead. Trust me, that one's muted. Uh, my favorite wrestler Special is... Uh, mm, I would say Ultimo Dragon. And Nicholas. Mine is too. And, uh, in the States. My favorite wrestler, to be honest with you... Is Brock Lesnar. Oh. oh. I don't know why I said that. I just thought it would add drama to the pick. He said it rather slowly. He, said, he did. My favorite wrestler is. And then he like leans honest. it to the mic. That's good. It, it, was, it was really good t TV. Nicely now, done. Jason's not here to let us know. It would probably be. Um, Liger, you think? Uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> um, Did I did I miss something? Completely. Is that Dan. some Yu-Gi-Oh reference? No, you're correct. No, we gotta ask ow, Mr. Gennady. What are we hitting for? Mr. Gennady, what? Caller, caller. Oh, we've we got a caller? caller. I'm sorry. How you doing? Pretty good, right, Wayne. How are you? Wayne. Hi, Wayne. How you doing? Come down. Good, good, good. Good, good. Wayne. Wow. Hey, Wayne. Is this mirror or mirror? No, 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 no. Okay. What do you got for us, Wayne? All right. When are they gonna have the little ones Brock Lesnar and they get tooled by Goldberg? That's, that is a that's real good question. That's the next question. big match. I don't know if you do that before the Royal Rumble, but that's if they really want to push Goldberg, that's where they're going to have to go. That, that to me, well, is they got him going against a WrestleMania main event. A bounty, so. Yep, yep. Wouldn't that gonna, be interesting sure, for him? Short work out of him. Wouldn't sure. that be the way to go? Wouldn't he Brock Lesnar against uh, Goldberg for the bounty? Yes. On WrestleMania, wouldn't that make sense? Build up to it, have Goldberg keep getting beat up or something, sure. and nobody knows who it is, and finally it turns out to be Brock. Yep. All this time, that would be good. I don't know if Triple H is going to be out of action for that long. I know he's doing a couple movies, but I don't know if he wants to be out of the spotlight that long. I'm also willing to well, bet that since that makes sense. so much yeah. sense, they'll never do it. I thought it, Jason was going to come Wayne, in. Wayne, your his... idea is too good for Vince McMahon to use, so I can only assume he'll do something less good than that. Well, I got one hint on the bounty. How about Batista's comeback? Yeah. Not a bad idea. Boy, they, Batista? Deacon Batista. Deacon, Deacon Batista? Boy, did, did they not totally misuse him the first time out? Oh, yeah. The guy's well, a monster, I mean, and they did nothing with him. He should have, uh, uh, like, beaten Kane, beaten Undertaker, Big yep. Show. He should have uh, been like the bad guy or the heel chip. Sure. I'm not sure they misused him as much as like they misused... Uh, Oswald Dragon. Vader. Well, yeah, Vader, or um, because he's not the same kind of pedigree, or even William Regal the first Yeah, time. well, he's sick still. Oh, yeah. yeah, the man's man thing. But he's too yeah. small compared to Batista. Sure. Yeah, Batista's he had him a monster. Him big show. I agree. Uh, when um, Batista and Brock Lesnar were in the developmental promotion for the WWE Ohio Valley Wrestling... The people who were in Ohio Valley Wrestling thought that it was Bautista that was going to be the big star over Brock Lesnar. 
and for some reason they went with Lesnar instead. I don't who's know your, why, but who's what's your he got? Fifty pounds on Lesnar? What's he three thirty uh, legitimate? I don't know. He's scary. It's big. hard to say, but he is massive and possibly what? not even horrible. What is your favorite wrestler? Who is my favorite wrestler? <laughs> to be honest, but all around I have to go Bret Hart. I yeah. Bret Hart's not, not a bad choice. Yeah. I like Bret. Like he can do it all. Still yep. wrestling today. I mean. Today? Yeah. Jeez, that's a tough question. Um. Today, I'd have to go Curry, man. Oh, yeah. you're doing that just for me. Just I appreciate it. Um, I want more Curry, man on TV. Dragon, he's all done. He's, he's gone. Um, you'd have to go up and coming. Um, jeez. I'll do a dragon. Who's that awesome. kid that uh, Roddy Piper had running with him? Oh, yeah. Sean O'Hare. Sean O'Hare. I like his oh, new I like gimmick. Sean O'Hare. When he was in WCW, it seemed like they didn't have anything yeah, for him to do. Yeah, his little, you know, what I'm about to say. Yeah, yeah, we know. Yeah. But I think, uh, I think he's that he's... He's got the skills. If, if they do something with him, I'd say he's got potential. I think he does, because this new look for him, it definitely is a totally new thing for him, and he, he's more interesting now in his current getup. Yeah, it's a madhouse. But he's gone. He, where, where, has, he been, has he been anywhere lately? I haven't seen him in a couple of months. Yeah. He's on what, Raw? Velocity. He's on Velocity. He's on some oh, of the B shows that they have, but... I'll see that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I have a question. It's, it reminds me of like the Thunder Show, where they just have a bunch of nobodies wrestling oh, way back then. Really? They, they dumped them down there, huh? Well, until they come up with an idea, because they only have so many ideas, they only have so much time on TV between and they, Raw and SmackDown. And they have way too much talent to work well, with right now. Why don't they have somebody like him come in and like slap down the new cane? Well, I don't think that that's a bad idea, and you may see that, but uh, it takes time because everybody's fighting, regardless of whether it's a good story or not, yeah. everyone's fighting for to be part of that story. Yeah. They're all fighting in the writing room saying, my guy is the guy to, well, to the last be it. I saw was the hurricane, and that's, a, that's the biggest joke in history. It I, absolutely uh, is, but I think that's partially the point. Of I, I got to remember who you're marketing to sometimes, and the yeah. kids like that. They think it's amusing, and I have no interest in it. Oh, you take a 150-pounder against a 300-pounder, that's boring. Hey, they're doing Rey Mysterio Jr. matches against, like, Albert stuff, and mm -hmm. I think that's just a waste of time. I don't think you make the big guy look any better. I don't think you really make the little guy look any better because no one will believe that he can beat him. I think it's just a wasted effort to have a little guy that small against a guy that big. Jace, we need to uh, who was it, uh, Rey Mysterio on the big show. Yeah. yeah. Giant killer. Yeah, and they had him beat Kevin Nash, too, I believe. I need the why, is, um, why is Ultimate Dragon, uh, why is Ultimate Dragon done? Him and Rey Mysterio would be the, the best player in the history of magic. They're too small. Yeah, not magic, not magic. It could be a tag team, but they'd be too small. Too small. Yeah, too small to be the biggest, at the top. But the best cruiserweight to be yeah. Yeah. I like the Guerreros. So do I. That would be one of my picks. I like the I Guerreros as a tag team. I'm glad we dropped that because it's always good for the, move, for the show. Yeah. Um, Dan, yeah. your, your, your pick on the, the best worker right now. I, I don't care if you use Japan or not. I'll stay with America. Um, I like Kurt Angle's work. I like his work in the ring. Um, compared to the other heavyweight wrestlers that are out there, he's no worse. He's he's better than Triple H by by leaps and by bounds. I think he's better than Lesnar, although they were kind of exposed in that one-hour match because neither one of them have the experience level to go through a one-hour match because they were just doing one guy's doing F5s all the entire time, the other one's doing German suplexes the entire time. Yeah, the one thing I would say there is that yep. uh, aside from even their work in the ring, yep, Triple H compared with Angle. Their charisma and, yeah. and that, it's not even close. One guy has charisma, and the other guy is about to marry the owner's daughter. Yeah. So you do the math. Well, that's why I go back to Brad Hart. If you remember some of his, he had some of the best hour matches in history. Sure, he had a series with yep. Flair. Up here, they had a big match in Boston or Worcester on January 29th, 1993, that I got to see on uh, someone's handheld footage of it, and it was excellent. But they were old-school wrestlers, too. Bret Hart was trained by his dad, Stu Hart, in Calgary, and that was a sub, that was an old, more legitimate style than the high flying stuff. So I agree with you there. Well, gentlemen, congratulations on your 100th, and I'm gonna let you go. Thanks Thank you a lot. Much. Appreciate it. I would uh, actually, Dan, I, I no problem with Angle, but I would probably go with uh, my favorite wrestler. I like Eddie, but I, I'm thinking in the in the line of yeah. a heavyweight that will get pushed to the top. Yep. Eddie is as far as he'll go right now, tag team champion and U.S. title holder. 
Yep. That's as far no as doubt. a junior heavyweight goes in the promotion. And he is pretty small, and he's and also and significantly he's older. He's no kid. He's been wrestling for, then, uh, gosh, I think uh, 15 years now. So I he's got to be 42. late. Is he that old? I think he's, yeah, I think he's that old. And what about Triple H? They're that old, aren't they? Triple H started 1992. He was in his mid-20s, so he's in his mid to late 30s now. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's no spring chicken. But, again, talking about Triple H as a, as a wrestler and how well he's going to be able to do is, is no longer a, a matter of conjecture. He's going to marry the boss's daughter. I think he's going to have a job for a while. Right up until... Uh, for better or for worse. Right, right up until the, uh, you know, the future oh. ex-Mrs. Uh, Triple H. Yeah, actually, him. that's a good point. That, now, now I have something to hope for. Wow. That uh, he'll, he'll only be highly featured in the promotion as long as he's still married to Stephanie. But then again, he probably wouldn't even be that stupid to screw that up. You would think not. Because he, he, where would he go after this? I miss Nowhere. Ultimo Dragon. We all miss Ultimo Dragon. We all miss Dragon. Ultimo Dragon. It's just that, it's like, like you said before on the show, Dad. Sasha and Ricky. Hmm. Vince, Vince I'm put it on him before he, even, before he even got started. Yeah, and you know how you knew that was going to happen? How? Oh. Because he's small. Yeah. And he's Which never done. Which is stupid because if he was in there, he'd be far better than anyone. Well, far like more entertaining. He'd be, he'd, yeah. be, he'd be as entertaining and as Rey Mysterio. Yep, and he was a big guy for doing the moves he was doing. Yeah. But speaking of new signings of the WWE, they just signed Jimmy Yang. Uh, he was one Excellent. of the flying Elvises in the NWA TNA promotion and highly featured in the All Japan promotion in Japan. He I just signed with the WWE. Didn't he also team in WCW with uh, Kazuhashi? Yeah, he was part of, uh, what was that triple? Oh, boy. That Three-person tag team. It wasn't team. three count because that was the others. Yeah. The Young Dragons. Young Dragons. He was part of the Young Dragons in WCW, the closing days of that. So I think Nick has something to say. Hold Nick, you have second. something to Nick say? Nick what? Uh, no, honest, I just want to say, um, I want to learn, like, who, who's the favorite tag team around here? I mean, so oh, Japan or Tokyo. Who, who our favorite tag team is? Yes. Right now? Well, I know who mine is. Who? Oh. The Guerreros, they're Guerreros the champions. Yeah. yeah. The yep. And they have a cool car. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone out there have a good one? No, this, no, huh? one, no one. The Dudleys. The Dudleys. That's yeah. a sentimental I favorite. I met Devon one Legion time. Of doom. I met Devon. Old school. That's I really old school. Stress on old. I met Devon Dudley at ECW and gave me his change from the soda machine. That is true. It is a true story. Oh, I, went to, I, went to, oh. I think that qualifies as a brush with greatness. I wanted to give him his change. I believe it's a brush with adequacy. So you, so he had you go get a soda for him at the soda machine? No. No, he Dylan just picked up his change after he got the soda, and when he went to hand it to Devon, Devon smiled good. and let him keep it. Oh. Well, Devon's a good guy, because if you saw the interview that That's correct. Uh, Dave Finer did with Devon Dudley... He definitely understands where he is in the world of wrestling. He makes no pretensions of being the greatest thing since sliced bread. All he has to do is sell tickets, and the fans care about the Dudleys. That is all that matters at the end of the day. Michael. Got one minute left. All right, Mike, what's Whew. your favorite tag team? Be well, behave. Russ. Hey, Kachoris, hey. Kachoris Orientales. Yes, I said uh, it right. All right. I just have to monitor and two you. My favorite fantasy. And, and was it oh boy, don't, don't And the uh, no. two wrestlers that make up that team, Michael? Mima Shimoda. That's very good. You know, I, it's, uh, it's, Toyota. It's, no, let's just stop, stop. And, you got one of them and you got and, the whole name. You and did Suko fine. Mita. You did really well, Mike. Better than I would have expected. Well done, Michael. Mike, give yourself a round of applause so everyone can see you. Yeah. There you go. The train That's, wreck has, I think, officially... I think the train is reaching its final destination. We have derailed fully. Oh, yeah. well, big Two. For the well, Thanks, thank guys. You Four. Oh, boy. Nick Ricky, Noah Michi Ricky, Jonathan. Noah. N Nick Ricky. Did I already say you? Nicholas. Ricky, Jason Nathaniel. Ricky, Jason. Dylan Ricky, Dylan. Mr. Daniel Edward Kennedy. Esquire. Esquire. Mike Cunningham, Chris Corsi, April, everybody, everybody. Else part of it, and myself, the great Thank Ricky. you. Sayonara. 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 Sayonara.